coming at you with another one today. So, we've got a CVHF that's uh, having trouble. Not really sure what's going on yet. So I'm walking over in the tunnels under the building. I'm gonna check out the secondary plant that they've got running. Verify the secondary plant's doing okay. And then I need to switch over to the primary plant. And uh, see what's going on with it, why it's not coming online, and what we need to do to get it back online. So, very, very little load. finish our annuals on these trailers but uh, let's get back over there and make call the engineer let's get that other plant online and see why it's uh it's freaking out my understanding what they're telling me I haven't even checked the alarm code yet but they were saying that the uh, trailer was tripping out on excessive surge so Let's see why. Looking at the alarms, this chiller is having a pump out issue. Where uh, it's constantly trying to do a, a pump out cycle on the purge unit. And it hadn't been an issue before, so I'm going to try to get it online and see why and usually with something like that I would expect there to be a leak or something pop up so uh, we just need to dive into it see what's going on you can see the yes excessive purge out and just prior to that it started having compressor surge alarms so, I need to get this purge unit online. That's probably what I'm going to do first right now. Let's clear, clear the alarms. are having a purge issue I'm just gonna go ahead and I turn the purge on where it's gonna constantly run and that's going to lock out the alarm so that it will continue to purge and purge and we can start trying to make some progress on that front until I can get figure out what's going on so I need to come down Carbon tank, purge liquid temp, suction temp, starting to drop. Alright, let's monitor the purge for a few minutes and just see how it responds. Well, seeing what I'm seeing, there's no point in even bringing the chiller on. It's uh, it's having a, a, a it looks like it's got a leak somewhere, and I may need to go through the steps trying to find it, or something's not jiving right on this purge unit. One of the two. Uh, we are we went straight into a pump out, and I did confirm that we are pumping out. Um, so. I'm going to continue going through this. I want to verify that the pump out, all the procedures are working properly. But all that checks out 
it's very likely that we've formed a leak somewhere and we need to figure out where and, and, and how. Uh, my moisture indicator shows dry. That gives me hope that we don't have anything extreme, but it's bad enough to, to cause a major problem. So, we just have to go through it. Just go through it, figure it out. Purge is still running. I've gone through and verified everything that I can. There's a lot of backstory as to the current situation. Uh, but, um, end of the day, I was out on vacation. We did some inspections on the chiller, acted a little funny after that. It ended up having some surging due to some flow issues with the plant that shouldn't have been happening. Anyway, in that process, the... We, we, we picked up a lot of atmosphere from somewhere. I, I'm not sure as to how. And what I want to do at this point, because I don't want to jump the gun and do, start doing a bunch of unnecessaries. So I did confirm that the purge pump is working properly. Uh, it's, it's pumping through really well. The valves are working on the purge. Uh, it was set to adaptive purge, which means it ran every every four hours of run time. The chiller would run a purge uh, cycle for I forget the duration for so many for so long. And if it didn't need to purge pump out during that purge cycle, then it just turned it off for another four hours. So. It's been going for probably an hour now, uh, and we are starting to reduce on our suction temp, so that makes me happy. Um, it gives me a little more comfort and peace that we're making some kind of progress. It's been sitting for a full week now without being touched until I got back, so... Um, I'm gonna recommend to the engineer, we let this thing do a pump out at minimum overnight just let it do it let's not jump to any conclusions before we have to uh, the worst case scenario here is we are looking at a leak and that, that would that would require a full leak search which is an entire process recovery charge with nitrogen electronic detector I mean it's it's a very extensive, very expensive process. Thankfully, they have a secondary plant. Let's take a slow approach. Let's be cautious. Let's not jump the gun. Um, anyway, talk to the engineer. We'll get this going for overnight, like I said. And then we'll come back tomorrow morning, hopefully. And we'll be able to check it again and see how it's doing. Hopefully the purge will be finished and it won't be pumping out at all at that point. The purge may still be running, but the, it won't be going through a pump out. And it won't be on the edge of being on a pump out, right? So I'm looking to come back and these numbers being in really good shape. And part of the way this works is it's comparing the liquid temp to the compressor suction temp okay this liquid temp is the actual liquid line temp of the chiller itself going from the condenser into the economizer refrigerant suction temp is on the purge compressor itself so let's see if I can get a shot where y'all can see that so that's on the actual uh, compressor suction for the purge unit so that is it's taking and, and subtracting from those two and it's looking for a total outcome typically it will begin a pump out cycle at around 18 to 23 ish degrees is, is the typical kick-in point uh, 
but it does it does depend so technically if you go through the manual on it uh, and I've, I've seen I've seen it and heard it both ways it's supposed to be 50 degrees below purge or the, I'm sorry below the liquid temp um, that is supposed to kick into a, a pump out cycle but I've had text tell me that well no it's supposed to be like 18 degrees or something below that or 23 degrees whatever it's supposed to kick in I've I personally either way you, you slice it that 50 degrees is about the same as that 18 to 23 under normal conditions so however you want to look at that that's just giving you the information that I've got you know then that's what I base that off of when I look at it when I work on it anyway obviously we're well below that we're negative 15 right now and yes that that is that does mean that that compressor is heavily flooding but it's designed to do that it's part of its operation so nothing to freak out about you can see it here so this is the suction temp it's referring to and here's the sensor that is this uh, displaying and the nice part is this is actually starting to reduce a little bit this ice buildup is not as heavy as it was when it first started it was all the way out to here uh, that that refrigerant temp sensor has dramatically increased in temperature several degrees since we began so again that's all good signs that tells me where we're covering uh, and, I, and what I did is I put that purge unit into a on operation because an adaptive if the chiller is not running the purge isn't going to run and when the purge would run it was um, uh, when the purge would run it kept exceeding pump out actually I think I said that wrong the adaptive the purge will still run even when the chiller is off it's but it, it will go it was going out on the pump out alarm which means that it could not in, in 50 minutes it could not um, fully per or pump out what it had in the system meaning that it had enough in there where it wasn't able to complete the pump out in that time frame I disabled that alarm for 72 hours I'm not gonna run the chiller I'm just gonna let it pump out and see how well it does as it goes forward um, and like I said in that 50 minutes is in a 24 hour period so it cannot pump out more than 50 minutes every 24 hours uh, which normally Ideally, you want it to pump out zero in an entire week. And this chiller had been doing that prior to everything going crazy. Uh, you know, prior to that, this chiller has not had any kind of leak issues, doesn't have any kind of pump out issues, nothing. All this literally just kind of sprang up on us. And I think that there's a, a several things stacking up that I've, I, I've got to now recover from. And then I can make I can start to try to see what actually caused them in the first place and come up with a course of action I've talked enough I'm gonna wrap this one up leave it here let it do its thing and run and we will come back to it uh, as soon as possible <laughs>